Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, the future temple is in the news and uh, scripture references out of Matthew 24, verse 15. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel or the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, <clears throat> let the reader understand, and that is Jesus speaking. So uh, here we have a picture of U.S. Ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, and he was present at the Benai Brock headquarters of the IKEA organization. I think that's how you pronounce it. So anyway, we're going to go with that. And this is a nonprofit, ultra-Orthodox charitable organization. IKEA serves children with learning disabilities. Now, during the photo op, as the one we see right here, Akia presented Ambassador Friedman with a poster. And the poster was of the Temple Mount. Now, instead of the Muslim Golden Dome, which would be right here, follow the cursor, the real estate in the picture was replaced with the Jewish Temple. So, Enter spin control by all parties involved. And I got some quotes from this. This is pretty good stuff. <laughs> and the first is from the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. Ambassador Friedman was not aware of the image thrust in front of him when the photo was taken. He was deeply disappointed that anyone would take advantage of his visit to Benai Brock to create controversy. The U.S. policy is absolutely clear. We support the status quo on the Haram al-Sharif, or Temple Mount. And that's a statement from the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. That's where <laughs> Mr. Friedman's located and office is out of. And then also we had the following statements from a, quote, IKEA spokesperson. The management of, of IKEA wishes to apologize to the American ambassador in Israel, Mr. David Freeman, and to the U.S. Embassy in Israel, an employee from the IKEA organization, handed the ambassador a poster that was not approved by IKEA, the embassy, or the ambassador. So there's one quote. And then a second quote from IKEA, a spokesperson person from IKEA, we wish to thank Ambassador David Freeman and the embassy staff for the professionalism and generosity they showed in the visit to IKEA to highlight the important work we do to change the lives for the better. To our regret, the event was overshadowed by a cheap political act. The employee responsible for that has been identified and has apologized. And we will deal with the issue internally <laughs> in the organization. Oh, yes, nothing like internal internal punishment. We're going to deal with this issue internally. Shame. <laughs> and lastly, we want, we want again to thank the ambassador for his time and apologize from the bottom of our heart for the unnecessary incident. And again, that's from an IKEA spokesperson. Now, if you guys want to follow up, this picture is from the Times of Israel. So www.timesofisrael.com, U.S. Embassy image of Jewish temple thrust in front of Envoy Friedman for photo. <laughs> so, and I'm sure there will be Muslim outrage because their blessed little golden dome has been replaced by the Jewish temple. But make no doubt about it, this thought is in the minds of Jewish people. And I even saw something the other day that more people have uh, visited, more Jewish people have visited the Temple Mount this past year since any time, uh, since about 2,000 years ago. So it's becoming more and more in the, in the mind of the consciousness of the Jewish people. It's coming. We know it's coming. And so a little soft disclosure here. Uh, get ready for this. I expect this will be more and more in the news as the time gets closer. Um, but keep your eye on it. Appreciate you guys listening. If you are interested, please uh, check out paulthepoke.com, keyword temple. It's a category, temple category. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.